is Wizard 101 worth playing in 2024? That's the question I set out to answer. Wizard 101 came out in 2008. It's a deck building turn based game where you are a wizard and cast spells to fight creatures. It's an MMORPG, so there is a bunch of quests and enemies to fight all over the place. Obviously, it's an MMO, so there is a paywall, a monthly membership. And for old times' sakes, I'm only going to do the free to play things. I played it when I was younger, and I remember having a blast. So when a friend of mine mentioned it, I just had to hop on the saddle and try it again nearly 16 years later. Honestly, I was very surprised by how much had not changed after being out for 16 years. Nothing has changed about the game at all. Music is pleasant, the character designs are pretty good, the voice acting is not bad at all. It's a bit corny, the writing of it is, but good nonetheless. And honestly, the graphics are not bad considering it's a 16 year old kids game. Every area in the game feels very small, so it's always very congested with people and NPCs, with quests, uh, that it gets very overwhelming. Uh, the quest lines are not too bad. They're somewhat short and to the point, very much so like other MMO games. There's not much to them. It's mostly a run from A to B or defeat this one thing and come back. Uh, you get to choose the type of wizard you are by choosing between schools, which feels pretty cool. You learn new spells from your school by leveling up. You can learn from other schools, but it takes longer. It takes more, like, it takes training points is what they're called. There's different gear you can have and mounts and pets and such things. I'm not going to go into detail about every little thing, uh, but overall the loot system is pretty nice. You can farm bosses for drops for different gear, uh, but you can also buy gear as well. The pinnacle of the game for me is the combat. The spell casting and summoning of the cards is very cool and really holds up. Animation is great and feels very good. For a 16 year old game, kids game at that, the animation of the creatures being summoned from what card you selected whether it be a lightning snake or a giant cyclops or minotaur or a phoenix, it's very good. Not much more to say without going on a like a 30 minute explanation of how to do everything in the combat. It, it can get very complicated with combining of spells and using treasure cards to buff you or cast a shield to help resist different spells and such things overall very good combat mechanics with every good there must be a bad the things i don't like about the game honestly is very few but crucial for me personally the multiplayer of it feels not good being an mmo game where multiplayer is encouraged it feels like it's just almost not there because you can't fight bosses with friends you can't trade with them other than what are called treasure cards uh, which are only like one-time use type of cards so uh, you can't play with them much at all to be honest then there's the paywall playing the game free to play is like playing a demo to the game you can get to like level 10 out of i think 170 maybe and that's if you do all the side quests and you battle bosses and all that type of grindy stuff i've read that the game gets really good once you pay for it but the free to play is only good for about two to three hours of gameplay and then that's about it i get why adding the monthly subscription and everything it's fair and i'm sure it's a great game after you pay for it but today, we're only able to talk about the free-to-play version of it. So, overall, I'd give Wizard 101 the free-to-play version a 6.5 out of 10. I'd play it again and have fun, but not as much fun if I paid for it. So let me know 
if you've ever played the game and your thoughts on it below in the comments. If you enjoyed or agreed with anything I said in this video, then like it. If not, then dislike it. But you have to let me know why you dislike it first in the comments. Subscribe if you want to hear more of my thoughts on new and old games. And who knows, maybe not just games. Maybe I'll branch out into other types of media. Uh, or if you ever want to see me play anything, because I do stream, I do upload random variety games here and there. But for now, I'm going to love you and I'm going to leave you. Peace.